How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Mr. Tambourine Man as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar. We're going to learn this folk classic using a capo on the third fret and we're actually going to tune our guitar to drop D as well. So there's a number of lessons on the internet but I haven't seen any yet that have it in drop D which is the way that Bob Dylan actually played it and there's some real kind of unique chord voicings where Bob plays like the third in the bass on some of the chords that really help capture the vibe of the song. So I'm going to break it all down for you step by step. But before we get started, I want to hook you up with something right away at the first link down below. I've got an exclusive guitar training series that you can get that's not on YouTube. And again, these are some exclusive videos on my website that come with tabs and sheet music. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're going to get a ton more value out of this free content at the first link down below. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Mr. Tambourine Man as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar. Now for this song, we're gonna put a capo on the third fret and we're gonna tune to drop D. So you wanna make sure your sixth string is lowered one whole step. Once you've done that, you're ready to start the intro of the song, which goes like this. So we're going to start out on a D chord here, and the cool thing about being in drop D is you can now play that sixth string. And we're going to do this little move where we take that D chord, but we lift off the note on the first string. That second fret is going to become an open string, and then we'll go back. And throughout this recording, Dylan has all these little variations, like sometimes he'll do a sus four, which is where you add your pinky. Sometimes he'll just play straight D, and then sometimes it's D sus two. So on the beginning, we've got this two bar intro on just a D chord, but he does this lick. And then we go into the chorus. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. So that's where the vocals come in. And we're going to use just three shapes to start off with. We're going to play a G over B, which looks like your G chord like this, but we're going to just play these two fingers. So you're going to put your index on the second fret of the fifth string, and then your ring finger on the third fret of the second string. And it's sort of just the inner notes of that typical G chord that we all play. So we're going to go G over B and then to an A chord. That's going to be from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. Then we're going to go to D, then to G over B. So those are all two beats each. We're going to go one, two, one, two, play a song for me. Then D, G over B, then A for four counts. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's the first four bars. So starting from where the vocal comes in, one, two, one, two, one, two, D, G over B, D, G over B, A, two, three, four. Now, we're going to continue with a very similar chord progression. We're going to go G, the, or the G over B to A, then D, G over B, then D, G over B. Then we have what's called a 2-4 bar. We're going to go 1, 2, back to D. And that's the with the words, I come following you. So that's going to be 1, 2, A, G over B, D, 
G over B, A for two beats, two, D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. So if I put this whole chorus section together, just strumming once on each chord, that's gonna sound like this. And again, this is right where the vocal comes in. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. One, two, ready, go. G over B, A, D, G over B, D, G over B, A for four counts, two, three, four, G over B, A, D, G over B, D, G over B, A for two counts, two, and then D for eight counts. Okay, so that's the chorus section, and that's going to come in and out throughout the song a lot of times. Now, as far as the strumming pattern goes, we can add a little bit more rhythm to that and play something like... So what I'm playing is a little two-beat pattern, and I'm going to play two eighth notes. One and, those are gonna be down strokes. So one and, and then I won't play on beat two, but I'm gonna do some 16th notes starting on the E of two. Two E and a. So it's gonna go one E and a, two E and a. One E and a, two E and a. If I did that on a D chord just for practice. One E and a, two E and a, one and two E and a, one and two E and a. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So you can put that strumming pattern together with these chords, and you get this. Now, at the end of this phrase, this is, remember I mentioned earlier that he has these variations. So you'll have these little embellishments where he plays like a sus four and then back to a D natural. So it's like. The jingle jangle morning, I come following you. So sometimes you'll hear little licks like that. And that's just moving around that top melody note. All right, so there's one last section we gotta cover, and that's the verse. And the verse gets sort of extended throughout, so the first time it's a little shorter, but what he's gonna do is when it's extended, you'll just hear like D to G over B. So I'll play the first verse for you and break it down. Here's what it sounds like. there. So we've got a section here that starts out G over B, A, D, G over B. So that's... Then we do D, G over B, D, G over B two more times, and then an A. So that's going to go... A. So, so far, we're going to go... One, two, ready, play. G over B, A, D, G over B, D, G over B, D, G over B, A. Then we do the same thing again.
Have fun practicing Mr. Tambourine Man as recorded by Bob Dylan on guitar. I hope you got some value out of today's lesson. Before you go, don't forget to get access to my free guitar training series at the first link down below. Again, if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're going to get so much more value out of this free content at the first link down below. Thank you so much for your support here on the channel. If you have any song requests you'd like to see in future videos, get those in down below in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.